3,000 KB. 3,000 KB. It's going so, so fast. This is for you, Bardwell. My voltage sags. My voltage sags. So I finally got out to fly the LD Power 3000 KV motors. They're 2307 3000 KV. So when Newbie Drone first gave me these motors, I thought it was a joke. I didn't expect anything good from them. I didn't think that there was a market for them, and I thought it was completely overkill and kind of stupid. So, but Calvin from Newbie Drone insisted that I give it a shot. He said there was some interest out there. Uh, LD Power is working pretty closely with Newbie Drone right now and trying to do a motor development. So um, they gave us this and said, try it out, see what you think. So I was lucky enough to get them and I threw them on my test quad and gave it a shot. Um, what can I say? So I went into it thinking, I have the uh, Emax 2750 KV, the 2306 motors. Uh, on my D quad and uh, I love them. I love them for a freestyle frame. Uh, I've raced it a few times but I felt like I did better with uh, lower KV motors so I didn't use them in races that often. But for freestyle it honestly it's my trophy quad. It's my favorite quad in the world. It hangs up on the wall most of the time unless it's a special occasion where I'm going and I know I want the best and smoothest video and that's the one I pull out at that point. So. Um, I have experience with high KV big stator motors and uh, I thought this was too much. I thought the 2750s were kind of too much but I wanted to give these a shot because they asked me to and I had a quad to throw them on so I gave it a shot. So I paired it with, uh, this is a flying cinema frame uh, X20 and I paired it with um, uh, Little B 30 amp spring ESCs. Uh, they're running D-Shot 600. They're they're not very good ESCs, but they have big FETs and so they can handle the high current that I thought these might draw. So I got out uh, with Kelvin from Newbie Drone one time just to give this a shot. I had just built it, did no tuning or anything like that, and flew it around. And first time I flew it, I thought, meh, I think that my storm motors uh, were just as powerful and just as quick. This didn't feel any faster uh, than anything I'd flown previously. And so I kind of chalked it up to they're useless. There's no point for them. If they're 3000 KV, you're not going to get it out of them or even close. So I kind of put it on the shelf for a few days. And um, I went out flying yesterday and had the quad with me. I thought I'd give it one more shot. There's actually a prototype receiver from Newbie Drone that I wanted to test. and It was already in here, so uh, I flew it again. Uh, this time I flew with High Volt, uh, the Newbie Drone High Volt 1500 batteries. And wow. I had so much fun flying this one. So this is the best analogy that I could give. This right here is a 6S quad that I built for the California Drone Speed Challenge that I'm going to on Wednesday. Um, pretty much everybody's building a 6S setup. We thought it was a drag race and it turns out it's going to be kind of a drag race but kind of a course. So um, anyway, this is what I was planning to fly and it's got the Emax 2306-2400 KV running 6L. I've been testing it out for a while and it's very fast. I mean it is bad on your batteries. It's damaging to your batteries. Josh was right. This draws a lot of amps and you get voltage sag. He said on his video that the amount of voltage that this will sag your batteries makes it no faster than uh, any other quad that's not drawing your voltage down unless you had like super good batteries. But the batteries I flew, mind you, are very, very good batteries, but they're very old. I've had them since they were prototypes. I've put at least 30, 30 uh, cycles through each one of them. And you can see by the video that this thing is fast. This is super fast. That was with GoPro footage. Uh, I think this quad raised 330 without the GoPro battery, so you do the math. Another thing that Josh Bartle said on his video was about racing with this, and he showed footage of the voltage sagging really fast after trying to do straights. He's you know 30 feet up in the air doing these straight arrays, but what track have you ever flown that you have that much time to full, pull full throttle for more than three or four seconds? none that I've ever been to, let alone more than that to actually sag this battery. One thing that Josh did not 
take into account is how often you're going to be full throttle. You only need it when you need it. I actually did an experiment. My buddy had the uh, Emacs 2400 KVs, 2306 on his quad. It was an alien frame, and I had these, and we set up a small track. And I just wanted to see if we were in a race condition, which quad would run out of battery first. And, you know, we both assumed that it was going to be this one, but I had this thought in my mind that if I'm pushing it at the same amount that he is in the same track, I shouldn't have any ill effect from bigger motors unless I use them or need them. So that's what we did. We it was a you know no gate course and we did we wanted to do eight laps. So we flew eight laps and at eight laps his quad and my quad, same battery, were both at the same exact voltage. So what does that say? That says that yes, these will kill your battery if you push them, but in a race, you're kind of limited to the course at how much you will push the battery or how much you will push the, the motors. So you're really going to get the same thing that you will out of 2400 kVs or any other kV if you're going the same speed. These are not wasting power. They're using that power and if you need it you've got more. That's how I see it. Okay so after about 10 minutes of trying to get this apart I could not get it apart. I took the bottom screw out, took the shim out, and I even tried wedging here and here and I couldn't separate it so something's holding this together beyond that screw or it's just super tight and since I need this motor I am not going to try too hard to break it apart but what I can tell you is that the magnets do look like curved magnets so that's good they're going to be super close to the stator I can also say that they are hand wound and let me see I doubt you're going to be able to see this but let me see you can see the windings inside. They are kind of sloppy, which was indicative, which is indicative of hand wound motors. So let's weigh them and see what they weigh. I imagine it's going to be a lot. Hey, that's not that bad. 35, 36 grams. That is about on par with the Emacs 2750s. Okay, so for what it's worth, in my humble opinion, these motors absolutely do have a place in FPV. They are fun, and what is FPV but fun? They're fast. They're going to make anyone who sees them go say, oh my god, they are a spectacle. They make no sense. They are overkill. They're overpowered. But they're awesome. God, I suck at this.
Nitro Nectar 1500 high volt and these batteries are the shit.